Hi, I'm Johnny B, and welcome to McKinney ISD Sports Talk as we take a look at this week in football. And man, was it an exciting one. Crosstown showdown, McKinney Lions, McKinney North Bulldogs. We'll focus on the Lions first. Happy to be joined by head coach Jeff Smith. And coach, before we even talk X's and O's, I mean, there was a point where I was doing the radio broadcast where I could not hear. It was an electric atmosphere at Ron Poe Stadium. It was, you know, both sides uh, were filling in early, you know, uh, student sections were filling in and uh, both student sections are always pretty rowdy, uh, whether it be a football game or a volleyball game or anything. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of orange, a lot of gold, and, and uh, it was a great atmosphere as we, as we knew it would be. One of the things I pointed out that I thought was great was your teams got after each other. But in that game, there wasn't a lot of chirping and not one on sportsmanlike conduct. A lot of that time when you get emotions that high, you know, but the kids played very under control and, and represented each team very well. I thought so too. I mean, I thought both sides played uh, within the framework of what they do. And, and uh, uh, you know, North did a great job, uh, you know, and, and uh, Coach Fetchy does a great job, obviously. And his team, uh, you know, played the game. Our team played the game. I was real proud of the way our kids handled you know we were behind there was adversity on both sides uh, and, and always are in a football game but yeah just to see them in an emotional game uh, keep within themselves and stay the course and keep trusting the process and working through situations I was I was very pleased you wanted to go into this game control the line of scrimmage and keep North's offense off the field and besides their touchdown in the first half you did that and when you look at the stats they outgained you in total yards 392 to 376 first downs 19 to 15 but you go into that first half up 10-7 right where you want to be. Right. I mean, we, we, um, uh, the first half was, was a good half. Um, you know, we were able to run the football um, and, uh, you know, did that effectively, popped a few runs. Um, uh, and, and, and defensively, we got some three and outs. Um, you know, they're an explosive team. Uh, we knew that it was going to be a big challenge, you know, for our defense. But obviously the offense running the ball the way they did uh, and controlling that. Uh, you know, with time of possession, um, you know, it, it made a big difference. Keeps the defense off the field and, and shortens the game. And, and with a team like that, as explosive as they are, I, I thought our kids, you know, being up 10-7 was a big lift. Antonio Oliver comes in the game. He's a little banged up. But 39 carries, 228 yards. And he, he made some pounding runs and some big runs and a gutsy performance out of him. He really did. You know, he, we had to kind of um, get him healthy through the course of the week. And so he didn't get a lot of reps. Uh, more mental reps than anything, and, and uh, uh, you know, we, we were a little concerned, you know, just, you know, how, how he'd feel, and, and uh, he got better as the week went on, and, and it was good to see him running hard, uh, though he wasn't quite 100%, uh, he really did give a, a gutsy performance, and, and uh, you know, um, we had some guys really blocking for him, too, you know, he'll tell you that, I mean, we had some, some good spots, some good holes, uh, you know, Walker trained different backs block for him, and he does for them, and, and so it was a collective effort, and, and uh, just real proud of their effort. Crosstown Showdown, let's uh, take a look at these great highlights from Ron Post Stadium in McKinney. Uh, here you are on defense against this explosive North offense. Yeah, that's true. And any time you can keep Ronald Jones to about a yard and a half, that's a, that's a good stand. Well, one thing for sure with him, he's so explosive. I mean, you've got to really stop him, try to get him stopped before he gets going because once he gets going, he's very difficult to stop. And, and so I thought we did a decent job of really bottling him up the first half and um, but, you know, he did get us once the second half. This is a great run by Antonio, just churning for, for extra yardage. Good blocking from your offensive line. They really came off the ball well all, all game. Yeah, they did. And, and, you know, every week we come here and talk about how much better they're getting. And, uh, you know, it's, it was tough. It was a tough assignment, you know, controlling their defensive line, who I, I think is very good. And, and so hats off to our old line for really coming off the ball and blocking well and also Antonio seeing those cuts. Here's a big run, get you out from uh, backing up against your own end zone. Again, uh, hard running by Antonio, good blocking up front. Absolutely. You know, and, and uh, here this one bounces. Um, you know, their D-line uh, are, are about penetration, and so controlling that penetration was a big thing uh, for our offensive line this week and, and did, a, did a good job. Ricky Fantroy is really starting to emerge as a, a, a big-time receiver for you. Five uh Catches for 66 yards and uh, a TD. Yeah, you know, he, he has. He's, he's really blossomed. You know, he's a guy that's, you know, we've given the ball to in the backfield. We throw the ball to him, and, and he's got some good speed and good hands, and, and uh, we're excited about his progress. Here he is right here, you know, catching this little play action over the middle for a touch, and, and uh, that was, it's good to see him blossoming and, and turning into a really good player for us. 
So the first half is involving. You're right there with them. And then back on defense here, your kids again. You know, it's, you got Nick Hutchins. He's a dual threat right there. Three, four, you know, uh, gold hats around the football. You got to be proud with the pursuit. Yeah, Nick Hutchins is, is uh, explosive. And, and whenever, you know, Ronald is not carrying it, he's carrying it and does a great job. This is Walker Terrain with a good run. I thought he really got, got downhill a few times and did a really good job getting behind his pads as well. Talked about Brian, he managed the offense pretty good, 7 for 14, 85 yards, and he did throw that nice TD pass, which was a, a nice ball that he threw there. Yeah, he did. You know, he put good touch on it, and, uh, uh, you know, um, that's, you know, the real catchable ball, and the uh, uh, receiver made some good adjustments here. But, yeah, Brian, Brian did do a good job as far as that goes, no doubt. It's just before the half, and you're going to take that lead into the locker room. Your field goal's good, and you go in at 10-7. What did you tell the kids at that point in halftime? Uh, you know, we, we, we can't get too hopped up about this. You know, we've got to stay the course, and, and North's got a lot of pride. They're a great football team, so we've got to come out and play an equally good second half. Um, and so, you know, we just worked on the things that we needed to address and, and uh, stayed with the plan. One of the things that helped them, you know, you can't keep that running uh, check, a game in check forever, and uh, Ronald Jones kind of broke that run, and that kind of gave them a little bit of cushion, a little bit of breathing room. But again, your team does not stop fighting. They come back and they score and, and make it a one-score game at that point. Yeah, you know, they came out in that first drive and, and punched one in and, and uh, uh, you know, from their, for their first possession, which gave them the lead. And then they extended it with that big run by Ronald Jones. And, and uh, uh, you know, being down 21-10, you know, our guys responded and, and got in the end zone right here uh, with this really good hard run by Walker. And, uh, you know, made it. We went for two there. Um, you know, didn't, didn't get the two. It was close. But, um, you know, we wanted to cut it to three, a three-point game if we could. And, and uh, so it was 21-16 at that point. And, uh, uh, you know, there was, you know, was some time left on the clock. We just needed to get a stop and uh, uh, get the ball back and try to, try to win the game. And, and uh, uh, hats off to them. They moved the ball down the field, and we had a hard time getting some stops. Uh, and uh, they punched that one in as well to take, you know, to really extend the lead there at the end. You're not out of it by any means, but you're up against an eight ball. You, you've got to win out. You got Wiley East, you're on the road, but you've responded on the road. You played a tough one at Wiley. What are you saying to the kids going forward? Well, this, you're right. It is, it is a big, it's like a playoff game for us this week. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Uh, from here on, we're playing playoff games. Uh, you know, uh, but with that being said, looking at the district and how it shakes out, we still control our destiny and we still have an opportunity to get that four spot, you know, if we can just take care of business and, and uh, uh, you know, we just need to take it a week at a time. And obviously, Wiley East is the next one on the schedule, and, and uh, they're a good team. They beat North early in the year, uh, you know, and, and uh, so they're very athletic. Um, and, uh, but they are, they are a team that, that we feel we match up well with, and, and if we go out and execute, we feel good about it. So, you know, this needs to be a great week. I'm excited to kind of have a week that's, that's kind of back to the normal. <laughs> Back to the normal routine a little bit, you know. Uh, we had a lot of things going on last week, obviously building up the Crosstown game, and it was great. Uh, but, you know, this week, it, you know, um, we're starting a new quarter at school, and so, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are kind of going to be a little bit more normal this week, and I'm excited about that and uh, go over there. And, and the great thing is we played at Wiley, you know. We played Wiley over there. We, we've been in that locker room. We've been on that field this year and had a little success. We didn't win the game, but played real well, and so, it's good that we've got a place that we're a little bit familiar with, that we've been to once this year, and, and the kids are kind of have been there, done that. So we need to go out and play great this Friday night. Coach Smith, thanks for a great cross-down showdown. Best of luck. Thanks so much. Coach Jeff Smith on the McKinney Lions. When McKinney ISD Sports Talk continues, we'll talk to the other half of the cross-down showdown, Coach Mike Fetchy of the McKinney North Bulldogs.